Uh, what I think a lot of people tend to forget is, well, you're Nawab and all those things, in terms of lineage, you're actually an extremely self-made person. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, we can carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, but right. uh, you know, narratives, suits i've learned this they just you can't argue against them whether they're true or not you can go blue people have a certain fixed notion right you um, know because that's the that's the part of your life that i really want to talk about okay. uh, because it's seldom spoken of in the sense that you were a 20 year old kid who showed up in bombay yes. living on your own i don't think you took money from your parents no. you you're absolutely self made in that sense uh, yeah i mean even for that matter patodi i mean when my father died it was rented to the Nimrana uh, group of hotels. Okay. So uh, Aman and Francis used to run that. Yes. And Francis yes. passed away now, poor fellow. So he said, you know, if you ever want it back, um, let me know. And I said, I, I want it back. <laughs> so they had a conference and said, okay, you have to give us lots of money, right. which I then consequently earned and kind of, so even the so house I'm supposedly inherited oh, wow. has been earned back through right. money from films. From I mean, films. you can't live on, on the past. Right. At least we can't in our family. I mean, because right. there, there was nothing. There's, there's some history and culture and some beautiful photographs mm -hmm. and of course some land and it's been a privileged upbringing. But uh, and, uh, there's been no um, uh, like a inheritance. Coming, coming from there's there. no inheritance Never coming been. from there. Never been. So when you, when you moved to Bombay, Sef, uh, you were not from the city. Uh, you uh, actually yeah. lived in a house that you rented? Is that, is that how it worked? Well, I was born here and I was yes. familiar with Bombay. Then we lived in Bhopal and Patodi and Delhi. Where did you grow up in Bombay? Carmichael Road? In Carmichael Road, okay. yeah. Because uh, my mother, I think, was keen and, and being married to my father, the different worlds, you know. So it wasn't a very film-centric kind of um, upbringing. And South Bombay, anyway. And South Bombay, whatever, um, in Cathedral and Bombay Gym. That's because also my father's world and, and that influence, which I think she was quite happy to be a part of, away from, um, you know, the constant pressure of being uh, in a film environment. Right. So a little break in life. Right. So I think one has inherited that. So you then, of course, were in Delhi and then that's where you moved to Bombay from. Um, Would that be correct to say after you finished? Well, my father, you know, uh, I was living with my mother uh, in her her flat okay. um, in in Rashmi, and uh, he, he had just finished kind of playing cricket when I was four or five was his last test series. So he, my mother says, was bunking his responsibilities as they were in Bhopal, Patodi, because his mother was looking after things, right. and she got a bit old. Um, we moved to Delhi to kind of live with her, right. um, with your grandma, with my grandmother, in you know nice big old house in Delhi where. Um, which she had been given for her lifetime um, in return for land and property and all those kind of deals that these old families had made with the Indian government. Right. 71. Uh, 71, right. exactly. So that's why we moved to Delhi. And it was great living in Delhi. We had a lot of fun. Um, uh, I think that was the generation of these designers like Rohit Bal, Rohit Khosla, you know, Ashish Soni, and these people were among the first people I'd come across who were doing something off the beaten track in terms of art and culture, right. um, which might have somewhere planted a seed of, you know, why not go and act in films or try and do that because the whole force was to be a doctor or lawyer. You did, you started with an ad anyway, right? Yeah, my father sent me to an ad agency hmm. um, to get a job and he, he thought it would be character forming because I was partying a lot okay, and not doing much. Where were you partying in Delhi? In, in the Gungru, Gungru, you know, right. with everyone. Right. It was right. fantastic at yeah. a great time. Uh, and he said, you know, it's not working for me. You, so he used to send me in a bus uh, to some Sundar Nagar in Delhi. And we were working for this agency. And, this, and I think one of the jobs we had was making religious calendars for the Birlas. So the only creative thing was, should we put Lord Vishnu in October <laughs> or should we? No, let's put him in November. <laughs> So I kind of lost interest with that <laughs> quite soon. Um, yeah, but <laughs> and then Gwalior happened. Is that is that what the Gwalior story is? shootings? I mean, I, my father again had a thing. Um, they were shoot. My parents were shooting this ad together, and he said, they, "I think they'd asked him, is your son interested?" So he had this plan. He said, "At seven o'clock this evening, I want you first have a bath, comb your hair." And just stick your head into the living room and come and say hello to me at mm. 7. Huh. That was his whole plan, which I did. And the producer was sitting there. Right. So I think the idea was like, oh, you know, your son and Woody, that kind of thing. Um, and I got it. But you know, honestly, I think the way my upbringing was or the kind of life I had or the lack of 
some kind of genuine confidence or something, something, something. I, I wasn't a very good um, cinematic figure, <laughs> you know, in terms of either to shoot in photographs, I think I was very effeminate and very kind of coy and shy and kind of uh, unsure, which is, you know, precisely the worst qualities you could have for a for a leading man as a yeah as an actor right. in, in Bombay mm. uh, but not bad for a kind of a you know western academic schoolboy sure. sure you know that there was a different culture right. altogether so some quick learning was required and then you moved to Bombay uh, I'm presuming you rent an apartment or did you go to yes. Carmichael no, Road no I tried staying in Carmichael Road right. but it was uh, really lonely and empty and okay. uh, kind of I didn't know anybody around and I found it very difficult to run this house on my own and kind of feel okay there. And my mom used to come and spend time with me and then... So where did you first move? We rented, uh, rented a place in Lokanwala called Red Rose, one building, um, a small flat and we had cane furniture and the producer's uh, daughter very kindly did up the place for me um, until one night when I came back from uh, dinner, let's say, with friends. And um, I couldn't open the bedroom door because she had locked it and um, she had gone to sleep on the bed. I think she had a plan. And I was peeping, there was a big gap between the door and the carpet. So I was peeping under there, I could see her and she was a large lady. So it was like a, a whale on my bed. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not going in there, I'm not going in there. <laughs> so we went out again. <laughs> Why would she do that? She I wanted you out. Huh? She wanted you out or she wanted you in? She was my interior designer. Right. She was doing the furniture. Right. And she locked the bedroom door and she went to sleep, thinking I'll have to knock and I don't know what the plan was. Maybe, I, I don't know what it was. She should have left it open at least, <laughs> I would have thought. <laughs> Saif Ali Khan, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. This was great fun. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.